ladies welcome back to my channel so today we're going to talk about why I think it's important to make sure that you tip girls that help you make money during your shift at the club so I'm going to talk about why this is important and I've spoken on this in previous videos before where I have recommended that it sometimes is important to find a girl that you trust working at the club because it's good for tag teaming and it's also good when you might need to give a customer to somebody or you might need to work with a group of customers and you need a girl to help you work said group also, it's good for when you need to leave your regulars in the trust of somebody that you know isn't going to mess with your money or mess with um, the relationship that you have between your regular and yourself. So th the girl that you pick for this, may it be one, two, or however many, you should always make sure that you tip her for helping you out. And in my opinion, this is just customary. Like I was taught to do this from, you know, the very beginning when I first started dancing. And I believe it to be true to this day that, you know, you should go out of your way to either, you know, give her a little bit of money or at least return the favor to her in the future in some way, okay? Don't just take, you know, the help from somebody and, you know, not reciprocate at all. I believe that building relationships and building trust in the strip club is really hard to do if you want to do it. And if you do truly want to find a girl that you can rely on and trust, for this kind of position, then doing this will really help establish that bond between you and her. Now, while this sounds kind of like really scientific and then I'm going like kind of deep into this, it really is an important part of working as a dancer that I think some dancers overlook or they just give their trust out too freely to girls that don't deserve it. And I see that a lot too, where they think that they can trust whoever and they end up getting screwed over in the end by these girls and I just think it's really important that you find one or two girls that you can rely on so when these situations arise which they will eventually you have somebody that you can rely on and trust and know that they are going to do things the way that you usually do them and they're on the same boundary page as you. So when you're working with them, you don't have to worry about them doing something crazy or do or you know implicating you in some some kind of situation. That's really important, you know, making sure that this person is on the same wavelength as you too. Cuz otherwise if your boundaries don't match up, it will not work. So you want to find that out pretty quick and the only way to find that out is, you know, testing the waters and seeing who can fit that criteria for you. So if you ladies have any further questions, feel free to leave it down below and we will see you in the next video.